As China's economy booms, many of the country's scientists are working abroad. Many Chinese researchers are in Sweden, and they're finding the environment there a benefit to their projects due to the proximity of sustainable forest products essential to their work. And as Rick Wasserman reports, their innovations in the field of clean energy production are a step in reducing global warming. It's the Chinese year of the horse, a symbol of travel, but also of fast success. For many of the over 35,000 Chinese living in Sweden, this year could be a good one. Having their regular lunch meeting at a downtown restaurant in Stockholm, the members of the Swedish Chinese Life Sciences Association help researchers to get a foothold in the market. Xin Wang is an administrator at the Royal Technical University. Chinese students composed of almost one-third to half of the students coming outside of the European Union. For example, we have uh, roughly 2,000 PhD students here, and around 300 to 400 of them are from China. One of them is Weiran Lu, a doctoral student at the School of Chemical Engineering. Her research on batteries may prove groundbreaking. The goal, to develop a cell phone battery made from wood sources. Sweden has a strong sustainable forest industry of replanted and managed forests. Wood byproducts are used as a filler for the battery. We use the wood product uh, because the wood is uh, cheap and uh, it's also environmental friendly. Yeah. I will focus on to increase the stability of the battery so that we can use the battery longer. In a few years, cell phones will be flexible so their batteries must be as well. Something Chinese industrial manufacturers are following with interest. Close ties are being maintained with the Chinese green energy researchers around the world. Dr. Martin Bem is Huiran's supervisor. He says Chinese students stand out. Among young people, there's a bigger interest in maybe in technology and science than and um, relatively speaking than we have in the Western world at the moment. Swedish fuel cell technology caught the interest of U.S. President Barack Obama, who recently made a visit to the battery and fuel cell lab. He pressed the research teams to get their products out to the market as quickly as possible. Lao Wu's team has developed powerful fuel cells that can generate energy from olive pit waste. But they want to go further. Now it's uh, used in several countries now, and uh, now we are also want to make the fuel cell reversible to produce gas. There is also Chinese-led green energy research being done at the Royal Technical College. Today, politicians and industrialists are here to see it. Wei Hong Yang is an award-winning associate professor working on turning wood product waste into fuel. What we are working is to try to reduce the technical balance to further reduce the cost during this process, then make the product of the biomass to oil to gas will be able to competition with the fossil fuel. But Professor Henrik Thurman says they will need government help to make the products competitive. This is that uh, green energy production will not be uh, economically viable without subsidy. Otherwise, biomass is never competing with the fossil. We will get the price down, says Yang, but it will take time. The global warming it will be a bigger problem in the future. So people have to do something on this one. When you have to do something, someone has to pay. There's no free for the lunch. While Wei Hong Yang has been in Sweden 13 years, Wei Ran Lu is still uncertain about her future. By the time this year of the horse ends, Wei Ran Lu will have made her battery from wood products and may stay after getting her PhD. Or go back to China to find a position as a professor in the future. Yeah. From Sweden, this is Rick Wasserman for Asia Calling.